Tyler Holland here with Outboard Specialty Tools. Uh, some of you may remember me from my old days at Marine Tech Tools. I was the tech at Marine Tech Tools and uh, since then I've left and uh, formed my own company. Yes, we are making tools. Uh, we're doing a lot of our own uh, designs, our own uh, proprietary stuff for the most part. And today we're going to do a demo on uh, my little baby called the Bubble Purge. And it is designed so that you can do a manual bleed on a hydraulic steering system. We're using the Bubble Purge system. Um, once you can see it's connected up here. And I'll just walk through it while we're uh, talking. Using the Bubble Purge system, as you can see, one person can handle this job from end to end. The bubble purge system is designed to be able to have one person do a professional quality bleed uh, quickly, easily, and very cleanly. So, uh, yeah, the main reason I created the, the bubble purge is this exact situation here. So what we've got here is a hydraulic steering cylinder that I just put a new set of seals on right there. See those little shiny little beauties? They're looking gorgeous, aren't they? And also installed a new set of hoses. Still have to uh, adjust in and, and uh, lag the um, bulkhead fittings in place. So you can see I've gone ahead and hooked up our cylinder attachment here. Take my handy dandy wrench. Turn our bleed fittings loose, about a half turn, full turn, whatever. You will know that they are loose and doing their thing when you go to turn the steering wheel and you can see bubbles or whatever, whatever's in the system. In this case, it should be mostly air, maybe a little bit of residual fluid, but we flushed and purged everything out already. Um, so you will see uh, whatever's in the system gurgling on through there. Okay, now up to the helm. So here we have our shiny, fresh new bottle of incredibly pricey Sea Star fluid, which nobody wants to spill a lot of, right? that. That is not the fact or recommended way to do that, but I am working with one hand here. It's probably a good uh, good demonstration of exactly how easy it is to use our system since then. So here we have our fill tube fitting and our helm fittings. Let's go ahead and connect up here. Connect our fill tube to Okay, so now we got fill tube connected up to make sure everything's nice and tight. Fill tube is connected up to helm fittings. I'm gonna go ahead and start letting her do her thing. Take a minute or two to let gravity work its magic. So we're just letting it pour on through here. You can see it's starting to fill in. And it's going to start pushing, well, gravity is going to start working its beautiful magic and start letting fluid drain into the helm as air works its way out. And the whole way that this beauty works is air rises out of there, goes into the bottle, and basically lets fluid go into the helm. Pushed our motor over by hand all the way to its starboard lock there. And that helps get air out of the system more quickly. So now, here we go. We're just turning the steering wheel and trying to get this baby to start taking on fluid. So yeah, I'm just turning the starboard here and basically taking, and taking the entire system and turning it into a closed loop. Push in air and fluid down one line into the cylinder, back out of the cylinder, back into the other side of the cylinder, and out through the other steering hose. And eventually, fluid will just push all of the air out of the system and push it back into the helm where it'll keep doing what it's doing now, which is feed into the bottle. As air pushes into the bottle, fluid drops out of the bottle, goes right into the helm. As you can see, this is pretty much, uh, I mean, I'm, I've been working with this system now for close to a year while we were putting it through development. It's the easiest way to do this job. Definitely the cheapest. You see that air just releasing out of there. And all I did was turn the wheel about 30 turns in one direction. Got a bunch of air building up in the helm. 
and you just you can see all that air just coming right on out of there. Pretty effortless. So now I started turning the steering the other way. See the air just pushing on out of there. Taking fluid in as she goes. Started doing some turns the other way. Hopefully you can get a good look at those bubbles moving through there. Starting to get some fluid coming through. And now, see we're almost getting a solid stream of fluid through there. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just manually push the motor over to my port side lock. There we go. And now we're going to repeat the same process. Turn the steering wheel. Eventually this system will push all of the air out of it, right into the helm, right into the bottle. You can see it in action here. Fluid's feeding in, or I mean, sorry, air is feeding into our bottle. And fluid is draining out, going right in there. No need to vent the bottle usually. Um, that whole pin prick situation that they got going on with the uh, system that uh, is out there currently. No need to do that. This system is entirely self-contained, closed off, and it is designed to be drip free. I mean, obviously we are dealing with hydraulics here. You're going to have a drip here and there, but what you're going to get mostly is one person can do this job easily, and in fact I'm doing it easily with one hand while I'm filming. Let's see air bubbles going right on out of there. see a lot fewer bubbles coming through there now. It's mostly just solid fluid. Some small bubbles coming through. But mostly a good stream of fluid, minimal bubbles. Let's see how we're doing here. Still got some air pushing up out of the helm. But you'll also notice as you get closer to uh, Having this thing bled out all the way, you're going to notice fewer and fewer bubbles in the uh, fill tube. And fewer and fewer bubbles in general. Eventually it's going to be nothing but fluid. So when you get closer to this thing being uh, full, you stop, you stop doing 20 or 30 turns in one direction and then reversing. Do 5, 10, maybe 15 turns in a direction and then just cut it back a tiny bit. That'll help any of the air that's getting trapped in the helm pop right on out of there. As you can see, right now we're not pulling too much air out of there. Still a little bit in the system, but not much. There's a bubble coming out of there. Starting to get full now. Here we're just speeding up the turns here a little bit. You can see not much air coming out of there, still a little bit. So as I'm turning the wheel here, I'm just turning, turning to starboard, turning to starboard. Every now and then, you you should feel, as the system fills up, you should feel a nice little resistance build up in the, in the wheel. It'll feel like just the tiniest bit of resistance. As air comes into the helm, sometimes you'll feel it like it just kind of skips and that resistance just skips right out of there for a second or two. That's an air bubble. So a lot of times you just bring it back half turn or full turn and you'll get a, any of those extra little bubbles out of there that are working their way through. And so as I'm turning here, let's look back at our cylinder, see how we're doing back here. Solid stream back here, looking good. Now we're even starting to get all the tiny air bubbles out of there. You can see, not much left in here. Some tiny little bubbles in here. But we're going to get them out too. As you get closer and closer to full, you'll start seeing some tiny bubbles in here and fewer and fewer big bubbles. So just keeping on doing our thing here. About 15, 20 minutes into this job. You can see it's still wanting to take down a little bit more fluid. We're still on our first quart of fluid. Got a good bit in here actually. 
gentle squeeze. And once this system gets full enough, it'll stop pulling fluid into it completely because it just can't physically take anymore. And you can feel it in the steering wheel as well. Once the steering wheel gets where it's just one smooth motion with a little bit of resistance, you're pretty much in. One of the things you'll notice as this system gets close to full and you're getting most of the air out of there is I still got the bleeders open and it's building up enough pressure internally right now to still move the motor. And you're getting close once you get to that point. I'm just turning the wheel here. There's still a little bit of air in there, not much. Uh, a few bubbles are working their way out right now. Okay, steering system has stopped taking fluid. And once you get to this point where it's not taking fluid and you're not seeing any more bubbles in here, as you can see, that's all just solid fluid. Push the motor lock to lock by hand a couple times. So push all the way to starboard, push all the way to port. And now I'm going to go ahead and close the system up and uh, just test it out. And we're going to do this with one hand, so I'm going to let it drain off a little bit here. Okay, as soon as you see nothing but air in your fill tube, you're good. Disconnect it there, now the drop is filled. Set our bottle right here for now. I'm going to go ahead and close off our bleeders. Those off bleeders. Okay. At this point, the system is fully closed. Closed off back there. And we're closed here. Even though we've got the helm fittings in right here, we're still closed. Tricky part of this job, disconnect the helm fittings. That one's off. Maybe a little drip coming out of here, but what we got there, you can see, nice and full. Full of the top, no air. Go ahead and put our cap on. All right, give our system a little test here. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Lock to lock, no jumpy, no gaps. Oh yeah, she's done. Give a little kick test. Oh yeah, perfect. 